In this video, we will be looking at uh, odds with regards to placing bets, and in particular, horse racing, and the odds associated with a fictional horse race. Now, the question reads, and I've called it example for beating the odds, because that's assuming that you actually win the bet. In a horse race, Equine Eddie pays out at odds of 23 to 2. Determine the total amount in which a person would receive if they were to place a $35 bet on Equine Eddie and won. So what we're given in the question is some odds and a monetary value regarding a bet of $35. What I've done, firstly, is I've made a note with an asterisk, and I've just written, just to refresh your memory, if you've forgotten, that these payout odds of 23 is to 2 means that for every $2 bet, $23 is won. Assuming that your bet won, or assuming in this instance, Equine Eddie won the race. Firstly, we need to simplify the payout odds in terms of a value is to 1. Currently, we've got the odds in terms of a value is to 2, 23 to 2. And we want to express it as something to 1. Now, to do that, we need to divide this left-hand side, the 23, by 2. Because to get the right-hand side to 1, we need to divide 2 by 2. If we divide 2 by 2, we get 1. And if we divide 23 by 2 we get 11.5. Now what I've suggested is that these two ratios or these two payout odds are equal or they are the same. They might look different, but they are the same. This is just a simplified version of this here. I've made another note there that this particular payout odd then means that for every $1 bet, $11.50 is 1. But as I said, it's the same odds, it's just expressed more simply in terms of $1 bets as opposed to $2 bets. And we want to do that because we then just simply need to multiply the bet value by this corresponding winning amount. Okay, so what we're going to later on do is simply multiply this value, or, well, yeah, this value of 11.5 by 35, and we'll get our winnings. But before we do that, we need to make note of this formula that I've written down. And what it is realistically suggesting is that when you go and collect the money from the bookie or from the TAB or whatever, when you go and collect the money, you are actually receiving two amounts. You are receiving the amount in which you won, being the winnings or the profits, you could think of it as, but you are also being given back the value in which you bet, which in, our, in, with, uh, which in this question is $35. So we know this, the initial bet's going to be $35, but we don't necessarily know the winnings. So if we can calculate the winnings, we then simply add it to $35 and we get the amount which is received upon collecting your winnings. So the winnings I've started to figure out first is going to be 35 lots of $11.50. Now what that means is, well, if we bet $1, we're going to win $11.50. If we bet $2, we're going to win $23. And so on and so forth. So all I simply need to do is multiply this number by however many dollars I bet. Now if I bet $35, I need to multiply this number by 35, in which case I need to multiply this number by 35. Which is why I've suggested uh, 35 lots of $11.50, which is 35 times $11.50, which gives us $402.50. Now that there represents the winnings, or the profits you could think of it as. Okay, So that's the profits or the winnings. It's not actually what you pick up in totality when you collect your winnings, because you also get given back your initial bet, which in the question is $35. Now that I've got these two values, for the initial bet and the winnings, I simply just need to add them together to determine the total amount received upon collecting the winnings, which, th which is equal to 35 plus $402.50, which equals $437.50.
Therefore, the person would receive $437.50 upon collecting their winnings. Now, it's just make another note before we finish up that this here is not representative of the profits. Once again, it's representative of the winnings or the profits plus the initial bet.